Balsen, when you hear that name, what do you think of? Let's say biscuits. <laughs> so we're not talking about biscuits in our next talk, but about food. And I'm happy to introduce Verena Balsen. She's member of the Balsen family. And yeah, she will talk about Hermann's, which is a food hub belonging to the Balsen group. And yeah, we just talked about um, better know your source and waste. And Verena, come on stage. Where are you? <laughs> There. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Verena. So what are the parallels from food and fashion? I think that's what you will let yeah. us know now. And we're really excited. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for having me. I know nothing about the fashion industry. Uh, but the more I got to know the organizers of this event, the more I realized how many parallels there are between our food supply chain and our fashion supply chain. Um, I'm the fourth generation of a German biscuit and cake manufacturer. And what our industry is telling us right now is that the food system needs to reinvent itself. We need to reinvent our food system. And I spent the last three years trying to understand what that means for our business. We've been around for 127 years. We make one product that has been at our core forever, made of white flour, white sugar, palm oil, and we've been doing very well with it. Um, and still in the last three years, I came to find three things to be a fact. Number one, there's a very good likelihood that our business as it is right now will lose market share in the future. Two innovations that make products more sustainable and healthier. Number two, the guys doing this innovating aren't in the food industry. They're far removed. We probably have never heard of them before. They are chefs, they're bloggers, they're scientists. They might be some biotech dudes in California who have no relationship to the food industry, but they are the people who will most likely disrupt our business in the future and will be um, dangerous to our core business in the future. And learning number three, if we actually manage to find these people and we manage to understand the value that they have to our business, we need to find entirely new ways to integrate their value into our business. And M&A and accelerator models won't cut it because most likely the M&A and the accelerators will take that value and squander it on the way into our established business processes. So we stood there and said, okay, there's value. We don't know where it is and we don't know how to use it. So what we actually did was we built an entirely autonomous innovation vehicle, far removed from our core business and from our core business uh, objectives. We said we need to think entirely different about how innovators and corporates work together. And I think there's massive parallels between us and you guys because you most likely have the same challenges. We said we would actually go out there, uh, pound the pavement and find those guys somewhere in niches that are innovating on a product and supply chain level. The guys who are working on things that might be useful to us on a mass scale in the future. We build a portfolio of these people, whoever they are, no matter where they are and whether they even want to work with us. We build relationships with them. We try to understand what their value is. And then we find the right industry partner to match them up with, to build R&D projects with. So how could this look in, um, in practice? We talk to people like Danone, Alpro. We find um, a few biochemists who have realized that tofu production is incredibly wasteful. A huge amount of waste of tofu production is actually the residue of soybeans, which is super nutritious, but is being thrown away right now. We uh, dry them and grind them, those, those biochemists dry them and grind them, make a flour out of them, and can actually make baked goods out of tofu waste, which we find super interesting, and it's such an elegant way to sort of reintegrate our, our food supply chain. So we find ways to bring Alpro and these innovators together to actually build a product together or to uh, pilot their product together. How can we find ways on a practical level within an established business for these innovators and for the corporate to have value? Um, why am I telling you this? Because I think one of the most interesting parallels to the fashion industry is how we can reintegrate our supply chain. And one aspect of that is, for example, something like soy. One is something like coconuts. We have a huge global market for coconut fat. It's in everything. It's in lip balm, it's in cosmetics, it's in uh, food food products, 
Um, but a huge waste of that is when, when you press the coconut and you get coconut fat, is the empty coconut, if you will, the husk, which has no fat in it anymore. That too, we can grind, make into flour, which is extremely nutritious, super high protein, super high fiber, low carb, grain free, gluten free, everything. Nobody uses it. We've been throwing it away forever. We're starting to think about it now. It's coconut flour, actually, which we are getting in very small doses, which would be incredibly cheap if we would start integrating it into, into our CPG products. We're not doing it yet because the corporates don't know what coconut flour is or why we should think about it. Because the biggest suppliers in the world, the cargoes of the world, don't sell us coconut flour yet. They don't realize there's a business for that yet. And those ideas, I think, actually have long-term potential for a mass market if we start rethinking actually how we grow food, what we grow, and what we make into end products. So because we're just before lunch, uh, and because I like to demonstrate these in real life, I actually asked a couple of my colleagues to come here and bring you guys some coconut flour pancakes. Oh, I'm obsessed with pancakes, and I love the idea of something of a waste product, coconut flour, making pancakes into uh, the same nutritional profile as a protein shake. So actually, on your way out to lunch, you can go by and try some coconut flour pancakes, ask my colleagues about uh, supply chain and food, and I thank you very much for being here. Wow, exactly uh, 10 minutes. <laughs>